On November 7, 2012, we fellow Canadians were introduced to the new design of the $20 bill on which the Vimy Ridge Memorial is displayed. Usually, designs placed on the currency of any country showcases important historical figures or events that occurred during the development of the country. So then how exactly is the Vimy Ridge Memorial significant to Canadian history? A well-known quote from DJ Goodspeed, author of The Road Past Vimy, perfectly sums up its importance to Canada. It was on Easter Monday, April 9th, 1917, and not on any other date that Canada became a nation. But what characteristics did Goodspeed and many others observe about the Battle of Vimy Ridge that formed this thought? And how are these characteristics still prevalent in today's society? Here's a little background information about the Ridge. The Germans took a hold of Vimy in 1914 and kept it so heavily defended, people believed that it was almost impossible to capture. The French aimed at capturing it twice in 1915 but had failed, and the British tried in 1916, but it was another failed attempt. So now, it was up to the Canadians to step up to the plate and take a swing at capturing Vimy Ridge. All four Canadian divisions, under the command of British General Julian Bing, were together as one unit for the first time in the history of the Great War to achieve a common goal. Now with integrity, Bing was determined not to lose any men because of poor planning, and like an athlete, he knew that meticulous training and preparations were absolutely necessary if they were to be successful. So under the advice of General Arthur Curry, confidence, trust, and every detail of the battle was given to the men, along with maps of the rich so that they could mark where they would advance from. As a team and with determination, the men worked together and rehearsed, memorized details of the plan and their maps, and carefully timed their advances under the creeping barrage. They did so every day until the day of the battle. Easter Monday, April 9th, was a grey cloudy day with rain and sleet falling, but that didn't deter the spirit felt by Canadian soldiers, for at 5.30 in the morning, the whole ridge shook. And they were ready. The plan was divided into four main objectives, the black, red, blue, and brown lines. By 6.25 a.m., the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd divisions had reached the black line. The soldiers truly persevered and about an hour later they reached the red line, and by 1.30 p.m. three quarters of the ridge was in Canadian hands. The 4th Division's goal was to take Hill 145 and the Pimple, but had run into some serious trouble, so the 85th Battalion of Nova Scotia, who were only a work battalion at that point, were called up. After only an hour of fierce and determined fighting, the Nova Scotians captured Hill 145 on the morning of the 10th. All that was left to conquer was the Pimple, and it was, just two days later by three Western Canadian divisions, including the 50th Battalion of Calgary. By the afternoon of the 12th, Vimy Ridge was 100% Canadian. One can only imagine the great sense of nationality and pride that was felt by every single Canadian soldier after the successful capture of Vimy. The highest award for gallantry, the Victoria Cross, was awarded to four Canadians during the battle, including Calgarian Private John Pattison. However, these praises and victory came at a large cost. For Canadians, there were 10,602 casualties and 3,598 fallen soldiers. And even though Canada had suffered this great loss, we were still able to rise up and strengthen our reputation until the end of the war. Canada was now being seen as a unique, strong, and reliable nation. All of its military achievements throughout the war led to Canada having its own separate signature on the Treaty of Versailles. This is incredibly significant because it allowed Canada to be seen as an independent nation and further deepened our Canadian nationality and pride. In recognition and gratitude of the Canadian feat at Vimy, France granted Hill 145 to Canada in 1922, and in 1936, the Vimy Ridge Memorial was unveiled, revealing 11,285 names of missing Canadian soldiers. But Vimy lives beyond the borders of France. Here in Canada, it is remembered through the Canadian War Museum in Ottawa the military museums in Calgary, the street in Calgary named in honor of the battle, and of course, the $20 bill. The legacy of Vimy Ridge and the characteristics that define the battle are also seen in our everyday lives and especially in today's youth. For example, if you think about a team sport such as hockey, good sportsmanship and integrity are shown by remaining honest about a play or point and shaking an opponent's hand and saying good game. Perseverance and resiliency are seen when perhaps a game was lost, but you work hard to improve to do better next time. And teamwork and inspiration are demonstrated when teammates work together to help better each other's skills and abilities, whether that be one-on-one -on -one or simply seeing another teammate try a new technique. And this can also be applied with schools, musicians, bands, clubs, gamers, artists, volunteers, the list goes on. The fact is, is that these characteristics of sportsmanship, perseverance, integrity, resiliency, inspiration, and teamwork are all exposed to us in our everyday lives. And with the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Vimy Ridge just around the corner, it is important that this connection among youth be recognized, for us to see ourselves in the traits that we possess in the soldiers of yesteryear.
The spirit of the Canadian soldiers and what they managed to achieve for Canada as a unique nation at Vimy Ridge is truly an inspiration that will never be forgotten nor lost.